so now that we have look at working, so I can walk, and if I look at my hammer, I have the text showing up, and after three seconds, it disappears. We will start working on the pickup action. And the first thing we're going to do for the pickup action is to create our inventory bar here at the top of our game screen. And I'm going to do that by right clicking on my hierarchy and I'm going to create a new canvas, which I'm going to call inventory canvas. Inside this inventory, I first going to create an image, which I'm going to call background. Oh, right. This canvas is going to scale with screen size. This image I will set here at the top. set it here something like this and I'm going to change its alpha so it's slightly transparent 80 is enough okay so I have the background and now I'm going to create uh, an empty game object inside of it uh, and call it inventory group and on this on this game object going to add the horizontal layout group component I'm gonna add a spacing of 25 to each of my items child alignment, alignment middle center and I don't need the group to control any of its child I'm going to position it here on the left side of my inventory because I want the objects to show up from left to right as I pick them up. And now I'm going to create here inside this inventory group an image, which I'm also going to resize like this. And I'm going to set this image with one of my hammer sprite that I had added uh, when I first added the hammer to the, uh, to the game. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too big. Let's reduce it a little bit. Okay, uh, I think that looks good. So uh, let's create a prefab out of this item. So create. Let's create a folder called prefabs move. Let's rename it to inventory item. And let's create a prefab. And now the cool thing about the a horizontal layout group is that I can add more elements to my inventory and they are adjusted and placed automatically for me and they are properly scaled so I already have here my inventory working properly which is pretty cool okay so uh, the item is created so let's start to create the logic of uh, our inventory. And I will start by creating a new script called inventory controller. And let's wait for it to compile. And I'm going to add this inventory controller to my game controller game object let's open it up and let's start editing this uh this script so first of all i'm not going to need any start and updates on this and i will start with a couple of references inventory item so here i will keep the, a prefab reference a reference to the prefab of my uh, inventory items and then a reference to the layout group and I also keep a private list of items which represent my inventory okay now I'll have a function here called add item to inventory and I will receive as parameter uh, an item controller 
then what I'm going to do here is first of all, I will instantiate instantiate a copy of my inventory item and I am going to parent it to the inventory layout group dot group dot transform then I'm going to get actually before we do that I'm going to set image item sprite seems like I'm missing some reference here probably to UI yeah image item sprite I'm gonna get the image component of my game object and I'm going to set this sprite to the sprite of the item I just picked up and that's on the scriptable object that we have created a few videos ago. Once I've created this, uh, <coughs> this item and I set its sprite, I'm going to add the item to my inventory. So I'm going to go item controller item. Perfect. Now you remember that if we go back to uh, our item scriptable object that we have the list of required items if we want to pick up these items so now we have to do this validation we haven't used it yet but we have to add this validation so i'm going to a public boolean check required items and again i'm going to run an item controller I'll receive as parameter an item controller. I'm going by default going to return true, meaning yes, I can pick up this item. Uh, the first check I'm going to do is uh, item controller. Oops. Item controller dot item dot can pick up and do I need to I don't need to check it here no no no, no. yeah it's okay uh, I'm just gonna check for each because I mean if I'm if I'm at this point in the logic I already checked if I keep can pick up the item so it's all good for each I int ID in item controller dot item dot required item id so i'm going to pick up each of the ids on my required item id list and <clears throat> i'm going to do an inventory dot any i think i'm missing i probably missing some reference here to uh system link okay and if an ID Y, or an ID I, I'm sorry, an item I, where I dot ID equals ID. So what I'm doing equals ID. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna check on my list, on my inventory list, if any item on that list contains the same ID as the required IDs. And if I don't that have this list on the items, that means that I don't have a required item, so I cannot pick up this object, so I return false. If this for each succeeds, I return true. So that looks good, I believe. We can test it out later. And finally, we will have a remove item from inventory, where I will receive the ID of the item. Don't need to receive the full item here, only the ID should suffice. And now I'm going to gonna to have to have a list of all my inventory game objects. So let's get back to Unity. 
and I'm gonna edit my prefab. Uh, let's set it to a tag inventory item. Save. Let's go back, set its tag to inventory item. Great. So now I'm going to find when I remove a game object. <coughs> when I want to remove a game object, I'm going to first of all get inventory objects. I'm going to get all find game objects with tag and inventory item. There you go. And now for each one of these, for each game object in, there's a typo there, for each game object in inventory objects, I'm going to check if I get the component. So, oh, we don't have, let's, let's, let's comment it out for now. Let's, let's, let's get ourselves worried to set up the inventory first, and then we'll remove objects from it. So over here we have, we're adding items to inventory. We uh, check the required items that should be enough for the next step, which should be at the logic of picking up items to the player controller. So let's go to the top here and I'm going to need a reference to the inventory controller on my player. And so when I reach the item that I want to pick up, I'm going to call a function called pick up item. So uh, private void pick up item that will receive an item controller. And on pick up, I will uh, first of all, check if I cannot, if I can't pick up this item, I will just go text boss controller dot show text. Uh, let's do, I can't pick that up. Or did we, did we, uh, perhaps we set a variable for that on our, our scriptable object? Can't recall right now. Let's see. Uh, no, we have, we only have a pickup text. Maybe something we could add eventually, but you know what, let's, let's, let's keep it like this for now. So if I cannot pick up the item, I just show I can't pick it up. Otherwise, I will call, first of all, check if inventory controller, check required items, I need to check if I have everything I need, and if I do, I'm gonna call pickup item, item controller, save for now, and on pickup item, we're gonna check if item controller, perhaps I don't necessarily need to have a pickup text. So if the pickup text is different than empty, then I go into call, let's just copy this guy here, make things easier. I'm going to change pick up text to pick up text. True. Then inventory control, and then inventory controller, add item to inventory, and the item is item controller. And finally, I will destroy 
<clears throat> the item that we just picked up. We did a lot of stuff here without any testing, so let's just hope that this will not blow in my face. Uh, we have the inventory controller uh, reference that we need to set, and then on the uh, we haven't added the Oh no, sorry, the inventory controller is on the game controller. We need to set up the prefab, so inventory item. Here's the prefab and inventory layout group. Inventory group. So let's see. Press play, cross your fingers, and let's try picking up the hammer. Oh, it worked. Look at that. We have the hammer in the inventory, we have the text, and great, we're on our way. Now, the next thing is we need to do is we need to because so, right now this is only an image but this needs to be interactable because i want to uh, if i want to use this hammer i need to be able to click on it on my inventory and then use it on a different on a different object so that would be part of the use uh, action which we will be setting up in the next videos